Welcome. This is the first video of two videos which I discuss cell organelles. The word organelle um, has the word organ as part of it. If you think about an organ in the human body or other multicellular organisms, it's a specialized structure that performs a specific function. Cell organelles are also specialized structures found in living cells that perform particular cellular processes and functions. Many of these organelles are membrane organelles which divide the cytoplasm into specific areas so that specific metabolic reactions can occur. An example of that is the mitochondria. Um, a mitochondrion is a double membrane organelle which has a special um, set of metabolic reactions, in this case cellular respiration happening in that specific organelle in the cytoplasm. So the first structure that we're going to look at is the cell membrane, okay? You wouldn't have a cell without having a cell membrane define the area of the cell. The cell membrane regulates what enters and leave the cell, leaves the cell and provides some support for the cell. It is the main organelle that's involved in maintaining homeostasis because it does control what enters and leaves the cell and allows the inside of the cell to be a controlled environment. The cytoplasm is the substance between the cell membrane and the nuclear membrane. It's the watery substance between there and this is where most of the other organelles are found and it provides the environment, the water environment, for metabolism. This is one of the reasons, this is the reason um, why water is necessary for life because that watery cytoplasm is necessary for providing the environment for metabolism. The next structure we're going to look at is the nucleus. This is a, again, a membrane structure in the cytoplasm that contains the hereditary information in DNA. We're going to talk a lot about DNA in uh, later lectures. Um, the nucleus uh, controls most cell processes by using the genes that are found in the DNA. And again, this is part of protein synthesis, which is a whole other topic we will be covering. There's also a nucleolus in the uh, nucleus, and um, this builds parts of ribosomes, which are, again, important in the process of protein synthesis. It's also, the nucleus is usually a very large structure and can be easily seen with the right stains in a light microscope. The cytoskeleton is next. This is basically a network of protein filaments running all throughout the cytoplasm. It helps the cell maintain its shape because that cell membrane is a flexible membrane. It's also a place that can anchor organelles and it's involved in cell movement uh, by being parts of cilia and flagella, um, which are two protein filament structures that allow cells to move and be motile from one area to another. And the last structure is the ribosome. This is not actually a membrane structure, but this is um, a very, it's the site of protein synthesis and a very important structure. Even prokaryotic cells have ribosomes so they can perform protein synthesis. In the eukaryotic cell, they're either free in the cytoplasm or attached to the endoplasmic reticulum, which we'll talk about in the next lecture. Here's a nice little diagram just to give you an idea. This is the nucleus. This is the endoplasmic reticulum, which is a membrane structure uh, closely associated with the nucleus. And this shows free ribosomes in the cytoplasm, but also ribosomes associated with the endoplasmic reticulum. This is the first in two videos about organelles. And I hope that was helpful.